Oh hey, last time I invested in a really crap game. It was a terrifying experience for me and the consumers. But I finally got a second chance. I just got an invitation to this video game company called Woodley Offices. Um, I heard they got internet reception there, so why would I not go there? Hey, have you tried Tears of the Kingdom yet? I heard it's got features. No way! They have features? Yeah, and it doesn't even have microtransactions, and they still managed to sell it in under $100. Why didn't we ever do that? That's for the higher-ups to decide. Guys, I got great news. We're finally getting paid? Wait, we weren't getting paid this whole time? Even better. Hi-Fi Rush just won the Best Audio Design Award in the Game Awards. So, are we getting paid? About that. I have worked for this company for more than 20 years. That's two decades. And during my time here in this company, we have been through a roller coaster of many ups and downs. We were at our peak during the Xbox 360, and it was hard to succeed after that. So we collected all of our greatest minds in the company and asked ourselves, what comes after the, after the number 360? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Xbox One. This was a huge moment for Xbox. Skype actually works on Xbox One. That got shut down. We continued to connect support. That got shut down too. Then Halo 5 released, and the, the point is, is that Xbox has been a little bit rough these recent years, and it has occurred to me that this company needs change, which is why I'm shutting down a large portion of Bethesda Studios. Good. What? They're the guys that made Redfall, right? That game was so terrible, I don't even know why it was released. You helped make the game. Yeah. But my keyboard did most of the work for me. So what happens to us now? I'm laying you off. What does that mean? It means you're fired. Sweet? What do you mean sweet? You're losing your salary. Yeah, but that's only free air conditioning. Plus, summer's almost over. You don't need free air conditioning in the autumn season. You live in the Philippines. Crap. Why are we getting shut down again? We need to prioritize making better AAA games and updating our current AAA games that are currently released. Cool. So is Halo Infinite getting a DLC for its campaign? Yeah. Oh boss. Uh oh what? People are getting quite mad online. Why? Because of the layoffs? Why are they getting mad at that? Look, everyone makes mistakes all the time. That's why we have gay parades. But bashing a trillion dollar video game company for making a mistake, it's completely ineffective. Especially against Microsoft. What are you doing? Making an apology. Oh hey, uh, we are so, so sorry. We made a mistake. We're going to fix it. In the meantime, please check out our latest release, Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. That's your plan. It's either that, or the ukulele. What? What? What's the point of fighting for the right to fix things when you can't actually fix things? It's their sign of struggle against oppression. It's their sign of struggle against reality. Oh, hey. Who are you? Oh, uh, my name is... We're in the meeting, okay? Oh, sorry, uh, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, I was just wondering if this is Woodley offices? Yeah, you know we're not hiring, right? We just got laid off. Not in the sensual way. Why are they getting laid off? Well, it turns out that the best solution for a massive video game company to retain its reputation after launching a video game, whether it's a success or a failure, is to fire a bunch of people doing their jobs instead of the people who are actually responsible for the creation of said video game. That's stupid. Wait, 
Aren't you the guy who invested in the game with Steve Harvey in bikinis? That was the year two version of me. This time, I'm going to be a responsible being. I decided to hop on Bitcoin. Listen kid, there's no reason you should be here in the first place. Everyone is getting fired and so are you. I didn't even come to get hired. What does that mean? Internet reception? Oh yeah, that's also part of our salary. Still in the Philippines. Can you please just get out of here? If you're firing everybody, who's gonna fire you? Me! What's the point of having an egotistical business system hell-bent on corporate greed that distracts the corporate structure from the invoice of its customers and not have a law that can fire someone firing its fellow employees but not let those employees have the power of votes to fire the said employee firing everyone who can then be fired so that the firing system can be justified? Well, the internet reception and air conditioning was terrible, but I got a free loan.